In our last break, we've explored the current overview of the Thai bond market as well as the risk involved in investing. Now it's time to take a look and compare the attractiveness of Thai bonds to other regional countries. In addition to that, Kun Niwat will also elaborate on the current yield of the Thai bond market. And uh, currently, do you think uh, Thai bonds, how attractive are Thai bonds compared to other regional countries? Well, if you look at the trend of our uh, uh, non-resident investor uh, compared with the size of uh, our issue, uh, um, Thailand is a number third of the ASEAN country. The first one who have more of the foreign investor is uh, Indonesian and Malaysian, Malaysian and uh, Thailand uh, in terms of the uh, percentage of the, the outstanding. Um, well, Indonesia is, uh, um, well, let, 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 let me elaborate on this. Uh, most of the non resident invest in the bond mm. in, in all our Asian countries, mm. mostly will be the uh, government bond, sovereign, mm. sovereign debt. Mm. Because uh, the, the foreign investor will look at something that liquid. So liquid it mean you need to have a big size enough to you know when you want to sell or buy there's some market for you to mm-hmm. to, to 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 liquidate that. Mm-hmm. So um, with our interest, okay, Indonesia in in case of Indonesia, I think it's uh, because the the interest is quite high, mm-hmm. and also in uh, in recent. Recently, the the economic is uh, mm. uh, you know grow grow in in in, in terms of mm. economic growth is very well in yes. Indonesia. Mm. Uh, in terms of Malaysia, is uh, uh, I think is uh, also quite near to us. But in Malaysia, is have some competitive than us because uh, Malaysia is a uh, uh, there there is no uh, tech barrier mm. because. Uh, uh, Foreign investor will look at uh, first is a uh, liquidity, mm-hmm. second is any barrier like any any measure of the capital control uh-huh. or any measure or any any barrier of the tax. So in for ca- in case of Malaysia, is uh, there's no capital gain tax on on the investment. It not not only in equity but also in 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 uh, debt instrument as well. And also, Malaysia. Uh, just a few years ago, Malaysia has been included in the world government global uh, world government bond index. Mm-hmm. So that's that's make uh, the real investor like uh, all the pension fund mm-hmm. in in Japan, in you know, ev- in in US or everywhere. They try to track the in, uh, uh, index, mm-hmm. so they will invest in 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 the bond that include in the index, which Thai are not, we are not in, mm-hmm. in that index. Because uh, I think one, one, one of the, our liquidity is, uh, well, I think our liquidity is not bad. I mean, we can, we can, we, we I think we com- can compete with the Malaysian bond as well. But uh, we still have uh, our capital gain tax, mm-hmm. which I think that um, make the, the sentiment of the investor that uh, is a uh, is a cost in that investment. Yes. So uh, I think the uh, f- for for that reason. Okay. Uh, and what is the current yield of the Thai government bond? Do you think it should be higher to attract more investors? Well, I the the current yield of the government bond for ten year with the uh, normally they use a reference as a ten year is a three point six eight a three point seven mm-hmm. okay but um, for our uh, short term or policy is a two point seven five which uh, well I think is a the for the return I uh, uh, I would say our return is a uh, is a uh, 
I think it's, it should be the market, you know, go go by market because this yield can can be changed when when have more demand. But because we we can see every time when there there is a capital flow in, and uh, if that flow in uh, try to make uh, try to uh, invest in the long term or short term, then the the yield will, will, will move according to to the demand. Um, but if we compare with uh, uh, the return from from where they from, mm. you know, uh, I think our 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 return, our yield is a is a is is a pop opportunity for them to 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 come to invest in Thailand. <laughs> As we are heading towards a closer economic integration in the coming of the ASEAN economic community in 2015, it's interesting to observe the structure of the Thai bond market so we can determine the level of competitiveness for a bigger bond market. Let's also examine how we can all learn from a developed bond market like Singapore. Coaching, do you think the Thai bond market is ready for greater competitiveness? And should there be a requirement to change the structure of the Thai bond market as well as rules and uh, laws and regulations? Well, I mean, if, if for, for the AAC approach, I think, um, well, if we, we look at the, how the, 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 the market of the AAC, we have a, I would say we have a, a few, we have Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore, which I think is, we can call is a mature market. Mm -hmm. The less is uh, still uh, um, premature uh, about developing. Mm -hmm. I mean the the size of market. So uh, for the competitiveness, is uh, Thailand is uh, I think is a uh, we we have that mm -hmm. competitiveness. But what we what we still have to do ab among the ASEAN countries is uh, mm. like we have to more liberalize and yes. more the free flow of mm. the our capital mm. because actually what what our what we what we've been doing is uh, we try to trap the saving of the ASEAN within the ASEAN mm. that's the idea of the uh, cooperate in the ASEAN. And in order to do that, uh, we need to 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 find a way of, uh, for example, that uh, Malaysia have a have a tax that uh, more of a benefit to the investor. So I think something of our rule we we need to change, uh, like uh, for the taxation system. Uh, that make competitive as the other country, mm -hmm. and for uh, for the for the capital flow, mm -hmm. I think we try to we already the, the BLT try to have already starting to change the rule, and uh, they commit that once the uh, the AC is uh, uh, arrived in mm -hmm. in in 2018, mm -hmm. then uh, the the mark, the flow should be the the f more more freely or mm. or hundred percent free flow on for the capital among the ASEAN country. Yes. Okay. Last one. Last question. Uh, Singapore is the hottest. Is probably the hottest spot in Southeast Asia for investing in the bond market. Mm. What kind of strategy does Singapore adopt to develop its bond market, and can uh, can this strategy be also applied to Thailand? Well, um, okay. Actually, Singapore. Always consider that uh, them as an uh, open market, which uh, um, Thailand we um, we we not fully open like Singapore. But what we we can do, I think we have we can. Uh, well, we we are the uh, in term of the in term of GDP, in term of. Uh, uh, side of the bond, we we are bigger than than Singapore, so that's a uh, one of the advantage mm. that we have. Uh, Singapore have a uh, less GDP, but they have a uh, better GDP per capita, yes. which uh, which uh, we still far behind them. Them, so I think what 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 the Thailand can do is we we can use that advantage, make our bond more com competitive, try to reduce the the barrier. Uh, 
what what try out to make our bond. I mean, for com for attractive the for attract the the foreign investor, mm -hmm. you need to make it more liquid and more uh, reduce the barrier. Mm -hmm. Like make sure that you're not going to have a policy that you know volatile, make the market volatile. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, change you know policy have to be very very predictable. Uh -huh. yeah and shouldn't have any measure on the on the capital control uh, that uh, like a uh, barrier in terms of the tax or something mm -hmm. so i think that's uh, one thing that we 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 can make our bond market is uh, 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 more competitive i, I would I, I would like to say that when we're talking about foreign investors, we're talking about foreign from the west side, mm. we're talking about foreign in our region. I think most of the foreign now we see is a foreign from the west side or from the something that outside the ASEAN mm. country. Mm. But I think we have to try to to develop this market uh, during we develop uh, the, the other market as well. Because one, we can diversify sort of the you know, people who invest, mm -hmm. then our market will, 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 will be strong mm -hmm. and then we will don't have to worry about foreign flow in, flow out if, if we have a strong market. Yes. Because that's a way to, 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 to make the market uh, have an immune from the capital flow. Kuniwan, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you very much. Now that we've seen the insightful information about the Thai bond market, you can see its readiness will face both opportunities and challenges when the ASEAN economy prepares for a historical integration in 2015. And thank you very much for following our program from beginning till the end. This is Nathakon Bladi. Swadikrap.